We are in Chef Emmanuel Struban's home for an intimate cooking lesson. And when we last left him, he was making the dish marinated salmon roll with watermelon cubes. But before we see the rest of the demonstration, we wanted to know if he himself fine dines every day. Do you, do you fine dine every day? Or do you just do you eat regular food sometimes? Regular food. I'm, um, okay, my diet is very, very simple. I have food for breakfast. I would have avocado and tomato for lunch with a bit of cheese maybe. Okay. And uh, I skip dinner most of the time. So I, I don't cook uh, <coughs> fine dining in my house. Obviously, occasionally when I've got friends, it would be more like exactly what we've done here. Something really simple, put in the middle of the table, share. Um, I guess fine dining is more to go to a restaurant and to yeah. have something a little bit more um, business oriented or for an occasion like a birthday, a marriage, something like this. When it comes to home feel, I think that the sharing, the, the, the mood, the music, just to sit down, have a glass of wine, enjoy the company of people is probably more important than the food itself. I mean, the food is obviously important, yeah. I'm a chef, so I'm not going to say the food is not important. But what I'm saying is that you don't need to do too complicated stuff to please anybody. You see how the eggs are separating now? Mm -hmm. It's just... Uh, What I like to use for garnish also is snow pea or sugar peas. Sugar pea has a fat, thick one, so not snow peas. On the recipe, I think it's with a sugar pea. I just do a quick julienne with it. During those classes, what we do, but I wouldn't call it practice exercises, but I like to show people how to handle knife or wipe. You know, chef, you, you always see us like going like very fast. And what, why, why can we do this and how do we do this? It's a, it's a, it's one of the things I like to talk about because the way we handle knives is very different from a, from housewife. I mean, any knives are designed to be handled three fingers on the handle. Very often, it's a mistake. We hold we hold it like this, and it's it's wrong actually. It's, it should be three finger and the thumb and the index on the blade. So knife is pulled like this. Reason is very simple because if you hold it like this, you don't have any control on your on your knife, and if you hold it like this, you can step on my knife. I still keep the control, so it's much easier for us to to hold it like this. So it's a mix of adrenaline, yeah. obviously, which I'm really, I, I love that part. It's probably the reason why I became a chef, because there's a lot of tension, a lot of things going on. And you're right, the final product is, at the end of the day, very delicate. It's not something like, okay, it's just a big bowl of soup and serve it. So why something? So mixing both together requires a lot of, I would say, focus. Yeah. But what inspires you? Your food lately? Huh. A lot of, I don't know, I would say my travel, obviously. My family, my baby, my background, my roots, the place where I am now in Singapore, the people around me, the market, everything. <laughs> not right. So how does potato blinis and eggplant caviar sound to you? In the next clip, you are going to learn how to make it.